I'm going to play this video shortly, but I just want you guys to, I just want to say something first. You see, when a society is failing, when a community, when a civilization is on a downslide, of course, you know, immorality becomes the order of the day. And when you have, for example, this um, woke ideology and mindset, there's like a mind virus that's infecting everybody, right? And you have people that you put on a pedestal, like celebrities and, you know, people in power, influencers. Those are the people that are first used by the powers that be to influence the minds of the people, to move them to the direction they wanted to go, the social engineering, right? So you have people like Bill Nye, the science guy, that was... A scientist back in the like 90s, 2000s, but now he's a woke scientist. Because if you were a comedian or an actor or a philanthropist back then, and you're still trying to be relevant now, you have to be woke. Woke has to come before your title now. You have to be a woke comedian, a woke scientist, a woke philanthropist. Or people are not going to give you any mind anymore because those people, well, not majority of the people, but the people they are trying to influence, right, are not going to start checking you out, like checking your page or checking your stuff, and you're not going to start getting the coins because the powers that be that owns the media organizations are not going to give you any airtime. You're not going to be relevant anymore. Your relevancy is going to disappear. So what do people do that want to stay relevant? People that actually care about all this stuff. They have to go woke. They have to go woke. And then they applaud them for their bravery and all this stuff. But if you, as someone at the top, was given the opportunity to stay at the top, but you have to go woke, and then you decide not to go woke and let the chips fall where they may, you are the brave one. And you are going to be respected by the silent majority. People like Bill Nye, Bill Nye that uh, came up with the whole gender is this, gender is, is just a, gender is not fact, it's just whatever you feel at a particular time. Those people are going to be looked at as, as clowns. Someone that, that went on a public platform, talk show, started talking about the kung flu and having the secret sauce shot in your system all to like not not caring about whatever side effects because they want to stay relevant they want to still remain at the top that brings us to this guy here neil the crazy tyson or whatever his name is someone that was respected in his community his profession Respected as a brilliant mind. But he's fallen into that box of wanting to remain relevant. Right? So, two choices. Cave to the walk or stand your ground, what you believe in. If you go back years, this guy wasn't saying all this crap. But now he wants to be relevant. So he's saying all this because he thinks this is where the wind is blowing. But the silent majority, which is the vast majority of people, do not adhere to this ideology at all. And when those the silent majority wakes up and then starts getting vocal and loud, these overly emotional liberal loons are going to start shivering in their boots. Because when the regular people, the conservative people, and just the people that don't adhere to this type of mindset start pushing back it's going to be really really dangerous it's going to be really really scary they don't care right now they don't see what's coming on the horizon because now is their time so they're going to spill all their crap let's hear them so now here so so now just to, to tie a bow on this i say to you somewhere i read Somewhere, I think I read that the United States was a land where we have the pursuit of happiness. 
Yes. Suppose no matter my chromosomes, today I feel 80%. What sort of happiness doesn't mean imposing your will on other people. It doesn't mean going against nature, going against common sense. Suppose you're a scientist, right? Isn't science supposed to deal with, like, with facts? You test and test and test and test and test hypothesis and all that stuff until you come to, to, to a certain conclusion that, all right, you deal with evidence evidence science is evidence based let's see what you have not about your feelings and what the society or community thinks of you that signifies a downturn of civilization female 20 percent male i'm gonna i'm gonna put on makeup I'm going to do that. Um, tomorrow, I might feel 80% male. Feel. I'll remove the makeup and I'll wear a muscle shirt. Science is not about your feelings. It's not about feelings. It's a fact that there's XX chromosome and XY chromosome. That's a, fa that's, that's a fact. So what are you talking about now? We're in trouble. Church. Why do you care? We care because we live in a society that this crazy is a... <laughs> What, 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 what business it, is it of yours to require that I fulfill? <laughs> he, thinks, <laughs> he thinks because he speaks with such gravitas. Like, require. No one is requiring anything. They are requiring that we <laughs> change <laughs> just to suit them. And they're less than a fraction of a 1%. Where did they do that at? your inability to think of gender on a spectrum and what i found in the human mind is that we go out of our way to put things in categories in bins mm -hmm. all right because that makes it easier for us mm -hmm. so that's why people come up to you and say well you're a boy you're a, are you a girl choose one which are you i say no maybe i'm a little of both wait, wait, wait. maybe a little of both. no you have to be one or the mm -hmm. other no i will not be what you require just because you can't think on a spectrum it's not a requirement it's facts your chromosome decides it. I'm going to be what I want to be. And we have known this as children. Every single class, there was the girl who was the Tom. We had words for them. Tomboy. Of course. There's the Tomboy who wore boys clothes, yeah. who got dirty with the boys. And she didn't have long hair. Yes, but she... <laughs> but she wasn't saying that she was a boy. That she was a biological boy. We all knew tomboys growing up. A lot of them grow out of it. A lot of them are married now. I had lots of tomboys as friends growing up. They're married now with kids. Most of the times they grow out of that mindset. <laughs> but they don't go around saying they are actual biological men. Lady boys of Bangkok, in Thailand and all these people, they, they, they say they are lady boys. They don't tell you they are biological women. They tell you they are lady boys. They look like a lady, but they've got, you know, you know, the the two piece down there. But this Western ideology, what they're impose what they're imposing through media propaganda and all these other people trying to, you know, brainwash the minds of these people, of these lady boys, and try to let tell them, no, you're you're a real woman. You of course you're a real woman. And those ones, because they're susceptible to those brainwashing, go around saying the same thing. Oh, I'm a real woman. I'm a real woman. But inside your chromosome says something different. You know. It's a way of breaking us into different classes. They're trying to create more class, more class of people. More, 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 and more classes of people. Because then we're going to have all these arguments with each other. Not realizing we all have a common enemy. It's actually a brilliant, it's actually a brilliant plan. It's evil, but it's genius. She had short hair. And even if she did have long hair, it was tied up in a bun so it didn't get in the Ooh. way. But you're still saying she. So she can dress like a boy, act like a boy, be a tomboy, but she's still a she. But they get to a certain age, they start saying they are actual men. Because you cut your tits off and take a bunch of uh, testosterone shots or whatever and get some six pack with a broad shoulder. You still have a VJJ. You can't change your genes. Oh, this is woke scientist. Everything is woke. Everything is woke, woke, woke now. Until you live, if you've been in the West all your life, you would think this is it. But when you get out of the country, that's when you realize, oh man. Woof. 
I don't want to go back no more. <laughs>